Well, I'm glad this thing is catching on, man. But here's the, here's the latest for another one. We've seen it with Chris Long. We've seen it with Justin Brett for Seattle. Now we're seeing it with Derek Carr uh, for the for the Oakland Raiders. You know, so this head came across wild for that. So shout out the town biz and all uh, all, all my people, Oakland A, OT82, over in the Oakland and the Bay Area, man. Derek Carr said his decision to place his hand on Oakland Raiders teammate Khalil Mack's shoulder during the National Anthem Sunday wasn't a protest, but a display of unity intended to promote racial inclusiveness. You know, obviously we're not protesting. You know we're not doing anything like that. But, uh, what we wanted to do is to show all the kids that look up to me, look up to him, that white kids, black kids, brown kids, uh, doesn't matter. I'm just about to say melanated, non-melanated kids can all be loving each other. And that's what makes me and Khalil a lot. We're best friends and we love one another. So the only reason we did that is to unify people and to unify the people that look up to us because obviously we see what's going on in the world and obviously everyone pays attention to the national anthem nowadays. And so we just said obvious this is the best time to do it while still honoring our country God love this country more than anything that's not normally anything a white person saying like that though. but at the same time like I say they're not addressing the issue you know all you talking about saying we're free we're free to live here and play this game but we're also free to show each other that we love one another and I think that's the message and that's the only message we're trying to get out Max said him and Carl planned the display beforehand and echoed his pivots, sentiments about their motivations. Different races can't get along, you know what I'm saying? White, black, whatever you are, we can get along and be friends and do all those different things and just show unity, show togetherness. Now, Derek Carr and Khalil Mack, they entered the league together in 2014 and not only developing the close friends, but out of the crooks of the Raiders' revival and future Super Bowl hopes. You know, I get the chance, I'm going to try to do a follow-up on this, but, I mean, it's still good, though. But Marshawn Lynch, their teammate, does a move, a straight-up move display when he sat down during the National Anthem, and people were upset about that, you know. But you got to understand, Marshawn Lynch been doing that for 11 years. Sometimes he sits, sometimes he stands. But trust me, he knows what's going on. But I, I do like, uh, you know, Derek probably he's learning as he goes along. Like Justin Brick, he totally gets it. Chris Long definitely totally gets it. I just can't think he's just starting to get into it as well. But it is good, like, like Shannon Sharp saying, I'm going to keep echoing that sentiment. The ball ain't gonna get rolling, and we ain't gonna sit down and address these issues of unarmed black men, women, and children who being gunned down by race cowards pretending to be law enforcement officers, and the, and the, and the racism that's basically that that 45 had doubled down, you know, not for not condemning the neo neo Nazi and Caucasian terrorists who call themselves the alt right the Ku Klux Clowns and all the mother faggots, you know, but it's nice to know that, you know, that, you know, that the National Anthem protest, I hope they continue throughout the whole season, you know, because see, right, the real things really go to Colin Kaepernick, they better be thanking him, but I'm going to catch y'all later with another one though on this, this is something real quick. Shout out to Black Reality TV, shout out the Ticket TV, Town Biz, the whole LDBC, 78 Sports News, and everybody, and I'll, and I'll catch you later with another one.